Hello, this is Nicholas Tanek from yourkinkyfriends.com, and I have a wonderful guest with me today. Um, she is, um, I guess you'd say, a, a cam girl, um, an, an actress, a, um, a chatterbait, um, you know, star, um, and also um, um, an active member in the kink community. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Tara Genesis. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Okay, so just tell us a little bit about yourself as an introduction. Um, a little bit about me is I first started on kink.com, uh, well, kinklive.com. Um, it was with kink.com, and I kind of, it was just kind of something that I just decided to try. My friend was just like, yeah, cool. And so um, I, I didn't know anything about kink or BDSM or anything, and I was just like, let's do it. So I they kind of like, started my journey right there because everyone's like, what do you mean you don't have a gag? What do you mean you don't have this? So I'm like, I learned everything live. And so it's only been since 2014 I've been kind of into kink. I mean, I don't, yeah. So, um, but since then I've cammed, I've done a bunch of other things, but um, I live in Arizona. It's, uh, well, I was originally from the Bay and now I live in Arizona. And uh, yeah, so that's me. I mean, I'm 33. <laughs> I'm awkward. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much me. And a... that's you know, it's funny that you say that you're awkward because I think the kink community is embraces that in many ways. You know, um, because a lot of people do feel awkward when it comes to expressing their kinks, and when they finally find people who do it, they they embrace it, which is yeah, beautiful. It's yeah. like um, yeah, it's kind of like uh little little tiny little groups inside of a bigger group and it's like we we all have like somebody that's like that gets it <laughs> that is like us and that's what is nice too <laughs> definitely definitely okay so um when it comes to kink when it comes to kinks what would you say your specialties are what do you what do you say that really because you're not um, like a prof I, 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 I do a lot of um, interviews with professional dominatrixes and stuff. So yeah. you know, and they have their own certain thing, like you know they like certification or they like, you know, uh, humiliation or something like that. But you know, some people are just you know you're like what what like feeds your fire, so to speak. What can impact you play? What? It is my love, my passion. I love impact play. Okay. Uh, that's I have. I like linked up with Caniac.com. They're the most amazing people in the whole world. They make these implements that are so beautifully crafted, so amazing. And I just like fell in love. And I was like, I just want to beat myself with everything you have. Is that a problem? <laughs> um, so they like, I, I have like 37 different implements <laughs> it, for impact play. It's ridiculous. It's, it looks ridiculous, but you know, everything, a different tool for every job, you know? Okay. Do you like, um, you know, obviously you like receiving, but do you like um, giving as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm a spanko. I've only gotten to actually beat a couple of people. Um, this one guy was just like, you know, we were at this play party or whatever, and I'm just like watching, <sighs> and I just wanted to do it so badly. Because <laughs> at that point, I didn't beat myself, and he was like, He's like, you know, hey Tara, would you would you wanna, I don't know, hit me a little? I'm like, yes, can I? Will you let me, please? And he did, and it was like, everybody got such a kick out of it because I was just like laughing the whole time, like this maniacal laugh. And I just, I love it. Like it's, huh, it's so fun. It's, I just, yeah, I'm <laughs> such a weirdo. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's 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 awesome. A lot of people, a lot of people love that stuff. Um, and I, I even, I'm not like a pain slut or anything like that. But like you know, I'm I'm into you know I'm a switch, but I'm in the fend on myself, and so like when I have to get a spanking or with a paddle or something like that, like there's a part of me that hates it, but there's a part of me that loves it. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, I know. It's funny because like I've I Caniac named me their queen of self spanking because I you know like I spank myself a lot, but um it's like it's so different when somebody else is doing it. <laughs> Because you don't know when it's coming. It's like scary. Yeah. 
it that just brings a whole another element to it. <laughs> Definitely that anticipation really does make a difference. So you are on, um, you have clips for sale. You are on, um, what, Night Flirt? Mm -hmm. And also yes. Batterbait. What other, what other um, things do you do? Um, what other, you know, sites can people find you on? Oh, pretty much everywhere. I'm all over the internet. I've got, uh, I have Sex Panther, which is texting. I have um, Night Flirt, which is fun. And then I've, I, like main cam home is cam four. Um, and I've got, let's see, uh, clips for sale, many vids, uh, piggy bank girls, pretty much everywhere. <laughs> and you have a website, you have your own website. I have my own website, Spankable Terra, which um, I'm still kind of working on. I'd like to expand it. I want to do all kinds of things with it. Um, but uh, I also, yes. Pretty cool. And then I have goodgirltarot.com, which is my like paid site, like a fan site, which is cool. Um, but ultimately, I'd like to move all of that over to just Spankable Tarot. Okay. Now, um, what advice would you give to, um, I mean, I, they call them canned girls, even though you're women, but like for someone who wanted to get into this business, um, what advice would you give? I would research, 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 research. Know what site you want to go on, like learn about it, learn how, like basically I, I guess my main advice in a general speaking would be look at it like a business, not just like, oh, I'm cute. Oh, I'm nice. I can get money. Yay. Pay me. It's, it's a, you're basically opening your own small business. If you look at it like that, you will be successful. Okay. And be nice and be likable. Well, and, and um, I'm always curious about, um, you know, because uh, technically you are a sex worker, you know, mm -hmm. um, what mistakes did you make in the beginning? Or just uh, give, me, give me an example of one of the mistakes you made in the beginning that taught you something. Um, being too trusting, I would say, probably, um, and not being careful enough with, like, like maintaining my privacy. Like, I haven't had any incidents, but there's been, like, close calls where I was like, wow, that could have been something really bad. And just, like, just be smart. Like, I wasn't, like, I was pretty smart when I did it just because the internet had been around. And I was like, you know, you, you learn things. But I can see how girls that maybe don't look at a bigger picture might end up in, you know, <laughs> getting their identity stolen or something stupid. Yeah. So. And that's what I was going to ask you because, like, um, I know most of my friends are women, and you know, and they're all on Fet Life and stuff like that. And I mean, even just on Facebook, they get unsolicited dick pics from people. You know what I mean? And so there are a bunch of creeps out there. There are a bunch of yeah. wonderful, wonderful people in the kink community. Mm -hmm. It's true, but uh, you know, there's you're always going to have some some you know asshole at the party. You know what I mean? So absolutely. absolutely. So I mean, since you are, you do put yourself out there. I mean, if, do you get bombarded with um, like unsolicited dick pics or just attitudes of, of people? Of Not really, actually, I'm pretty lucky. I hear girls, I hear horror stories about girls that, you know, open their inbox and it's dick pics galore, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm putting out there, but like. <laughs> not so much for me. No, I, I like don't get a lot. Of, I mean, like sometimes, but I'm not. I'm not scared of penis. Like if it's there, like okay, good for you. I just I feel more satisfaction just like not, like it's not even a thing than like being like, oh, what's wrong with you? Why would you send me that? You know, it's like uh, yeah. give them no attention. That's what. <laughs> that really was. Okay, so um, obviously they're you know. Um, like I said, you are out now. Have you had, as being not only kinky, but being, you know, doing, you know, uh, sex work, have you had any negative reaction from friends and family members? Uh, my mom hates it. Like, she, she's not all about it. Uh, but, you know, I just kind of, I kind of like just making her uncomfortable about it. Just yeah. Oh, I know exactly how you feel. I know, know exactly how you feel. When I, after, um, after Lynn died, and I write about it in, in uh, your kinky threads. After Lynn died, I had to move back in with my parents, right? 30 something years old, living in my parents' basement. You know, I'm not, I don't anymore. But like, um, and I'd go out to munches and I'd stay out all night. And like, I made no 
like I didn't hide anything. Like, yeah. it, like it, it, I didn't rub it in their face, but right. I didn't. I didn't hide anything, you know, and I, I come back at seven in the morning and, and my mom's like, are you doing drug porn? And I'm like, what? <laughs> are, are you having sex feasts? Like, what, sex feast? What's a, oh, what is, oh. I don't know what that is, you know? And, you know, and then I, I'd, I'd have things, I'd have like, um, like a laundry basket full of like whips and chains and like French made outfits and shit like that. She's like, I don't even want to go in your <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. Okay. So, what are when it comes to cams? When it, when it comes to cam, you know, camming, and and doing what you do. What are some misconceptions they have of you and the business? Oh, um, probably just like getting a date is really hard. Like really hard. They're like, oh, you must be in all kinds of freaky stuff. I don't think I can handle you. And I'm like. Okay, slow down there, Tiger. I'm just a person that just wants to go out to have some food. Like, I'm not just like gonna attack you and like, you know, tie you up and spend you from the ceiling and like beat at you. Like, it's, it's fine. Like, we're gonna be just fine. Like, let's just eat. Like, I, I know exactly how you feel because, um, you know, I'm out as a kinky person, you know, yeah. I like to say. And because I run this site and I wrote, you know, like your the book, your kinky friend and stuff, everyone now thinks of me as the kinky guy. <laughs> so, so, so my what I do is I just surround myself with kinky people, kind kinky people. <laughs> you know, that's, that's yeah, really that's cool. so. Tell me about relationship wise. Are you in a current relationship? Are you single? Are you in a? Are you a couple? Are you a poly? What? I am. Just me right now. Like, yeah, I um, I'm separated from my from my ex uh, last October. So like, but we were already in an open really open marriage. So like, it's kind of the same. But uh, now that he doesn't live here. But anyway, so like, it, so I've been trying to find like somebody for like two years, three years now, and I just like nobody wants to nobody wants to hang in Tara. What about like? I'm sure. I mean, you have fans, obviously. Uh, you know? I I have great great members, awesome members. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're the best. Just true. I'm very I'm very fortunate to have all of them. Okay, and when it comes to uh, sexual preference, sexual preference, do you prefer men? Are you bisexual? Do you what do you consider yourself? I am bisexual, um, but I I generally. I'm afraid of women. I don't know how to talk to them or relate to them. So I haven't, I haven't dated a lot of women, a few, but uh, yeah, generally I'm just, I, I stay away. They scare me. I don't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now um, I do want to get a little serious about something. Um, are you familiar with the FOSTA SESTA laws? Not probably enough. <laughs> Oh, okay. So there's a there's a new law that was put through Congress called FOSTA SESTA, and it's it's an anti sex trafficking law, and it's affecting sex oh. workers. It's affecting pro doms. It Craigslist personals got shut down because of it. Backpage got shut down. It um, a lot of mm -hmm. FetLife has changed because of it. Um, do you? I mean, are you taking steps or precaution? Do you have any opinion on this stuff? scary there's like there is definitely a panic in the industry i remember i was at the phoenix forum when um craigslist went down or the personals went down um it was right before my panel and um we were doing um a panel on the me too movement and everyone was just on edge like what's going to happen what does this mean and they were kind of like well let's just kind of wait and see at this point um i mean it's like you definitely, it definitely makes me nervous just mm -hmm. because it could, it could go anywhere like from here. And like, I, I don't really know what it's going to mean for all of us in the future, but I'd like to think, you know, porn will never die really. Yeah. So kink will never die. So it'll be one of those things that will, whatever happens, porn will find a way. Now, okay. Speaking of the Me Too movement, that's 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 something that I am very much you know for. 
I, I wrote a whole article about it, and I included my mom. I interviewed, I interviewed my mom. Oh, I'm <laughs> Refusing to read it because she doesn't, you know. But still, um, I thought that was interesting. Um, now, has even though you're independent, you like it's your own business that you. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure there are power players. You know, there are powerful people who can yes. either help your career or hurt your career have you had any and you don't have to name names if you want to but if you don't want to but if have you had any issues of sexual harassment within that in, within the industry no not really um i think i'm kind of small potatoes so i don't really meet very many powerful people um but uh i haven't really experienced that myself um i think the worst incident i had was this guy from sexy jobs kept telling me that he was he was very important with the all of the like studios in the area, and um, he basically wanted me to go to the sex store and have sex with him as practice or like for like you know an audition. And I'm 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 33 and not stupid, <laughs> so I'm like yeah. And plus I knew someone that was with uh, one of the local sites, and I'm like hey, do you know this guy? And he's like never seen him before in my life, and I'm like thought so. <laughs> oh man. But it's like how many times supposed to have worked for him though, and that makes me so sad. Yeah, that uh, does definitely. Okay, so what are what are some, you know, what one thing I love about the kink community and kind of opening yourself up to it is you never know what you're gonna get into. Like I never thought I would be into wearing a chastity device. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it, it, even when I was like just finding out about kink when I was a teenager and stuff like that. You know, I never thought I, you know, I'd be into any of the, some of the stuff that I'm into. Um, what are some some kinks or fetishes that um, you don't have experience with that you're curious about? Ooh, lots of them. Um, I I want to try I, I want to try sounding. I want to do sounding on somebody. Um, I want to uh, I want to do fire cupping. Um, and what was the other one? Uh, what else? Oh, pegging. I want to peg somebody. I've never pegged anybody. And that's like, oh, wow. Yes, yeah. I want it so badly. <laughs> you have fun. And you know what? They make they make strap-ons that are just not strap-ons that had that also like attached to the clit and they vibrate the clit. So like you could like literally have a clitoral, you know, clitoral orgasm while you're fucking someone. <laughs> while you're <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, try pegging. Now, oh, for those who don't know, please tell us what sounding is. I know what it is, but. Yeah. Sounding, um, well, I don't know all the fancy terms, but basically it is sticking a metal rod in, uh, in uh, the. Uh, in the <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies yeah, and gentlemen. I see devices that have metal rods that are, that are hollow that go through the urethra and it's like and you, you urinate through the you know no rod yeah so okay so um <clears throat> you are involved in the king community tell me about what you do in the king in the king community well i mean i'm kind of i i go to like the munches and the coffees and the um i used to be like Kind of, I used to go to the rope classes, which were really cool. Um, but I'm always just like, hi, me, me next, me next. I'm really fun to leave. <laughs> so, um, but you know, I just kind of, I'm not like anybody in charge, but like, I'm, I'm around, and I like you've been around. Yeah, okay. Cool. Your personality, basically. I'm personality. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm shy and awkward, actually, in the corner, like watching everyone. <laughs> Okay, now do you have any hard limits? Things that you definitely will never do, or that you never um, definitely I'm not into poop. <laughs> Anything that has to do with poop, I'm like, nope. <laughs> but uh yeah, no, I'm pretty pretty limitless. Um I just I don't like needles or blood, no poop. That's it. I keep it simple. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Um now we have a um we have a, a, a an ongoing article on Thursday, and it's a hashtag Thrifty Kink Thursday, and um, it's basically, look, I support, and I urge if you have the money, support high-end BDSM equipment and paddles. Oh, yeah. Of course, it's totally supported, 
go for it if you have the money, but not everybody has the money. So we yeah. have this thing called BDSM on a budget. Mm -hmm. So I always ask the people I interview, what are some ways, some life hacks, some BDSM hacks that that you could do without with you, you know, for, for the for those who don't have the money for, you know, a beautiful corset or a beautiful paddle or a beautiful whip or, you know, sh you know, shackles or anything like that. What are some ways you can still experience BDM, BDSM with little or no money? Hmm, I'm trying to think. My first toy box uh, when I first started um, camming was pretty much nothing. Like, uh, we took, we found things like, you know, those paint stirrers. We took a bunch of, like, tied them together, which was awesome until I got too crazy with it and broke it. Um, but um, you, broke, you, broke, wait, you broke it on yourself or you broke it on someone else? Oh, I broke it on myself. Oh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> I was, like, going to town. I was like, this is awesome. And then it just, whap, and I was done. And I was like, well, so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're free. So, like, take a bunch. Mm -hmm. Grab a friend. So, um, I'm trying to think what else we had. I don't, I don't think we had anything else that was, like, we made. But I am, like, working on, um, like, a... Uh, paracord flogger um those you can get tons of paracord for pretty cheap and yeah i'm just working on that i'm gonna braid it up and make a nice little flogger probably raffle it off nice okay now like you are in the community and you know a bunch of people like you like we were talking before you know amy mercury who's yeah. a friend of mine in front of the show uh, she's been uh, essential to really helping out um, your kinky friends and big shout out to Amy Mercury, love you. Um, so, who are some? Who would you say? And we have. I have another series of of articles that I do for your kinky friends called Heroes of the Kink Community. Who would you say are some of like the, the the people who really truly inspire you and are positive influences? And they they don't have to be famous. They could be famous. They could be not. They could be someone who lives down the street from you. But like, who are some of the your your heroes that you look up to in the, in the kink community? Um, well, when I first started on cam, um, I really looked up to one of the girls that was on the site. Um, her name was uh, Delilah. I was just like, oh, I just love watching her and just like, she was the first person I ever saw a cane herself and she changed my life. Like when I saw her with her cane, I was just like, oh, I need that. I was like, where did you get that? How do you do that? I need to know. And that's what got me into impact play um, without seeing her. And just the way that she responded to the pain, it was like oh, amazing. Um, also, um, probably I'm trying to think. Oh, Jacob, Jacob Dynamite. He is local here. He is one of the best riggers in the area. Uh, he did my suspension. He is amazing with rope. He is, he's incredible. He's just he's such a fun guy and like such a like evil mind. But such a sweet guy. He's he's rad. That's cool. Great. Okay. So, oh wait, I have another question. Oh, um, oh yeah. Okay. Before we get into the into the the second half or the the last third of it, um, I'm really curious about you know the financial aspect of it. Um, you know, you you're on Shatterbait. You're on Night Flirt. You're on, uh, you know. Uh, What's it? Clips, clips for you and everything like that. I'm just, I'm, I'm just curious, and you don't have to talk figures here. But okay. what is most lucrative for you? Which, which, which it changes all the time. Um, it, it depends. Yes, um, it's so weird. Um, I had a while where my clips were selling like crazy, but now they sell like nothing. And then like Night Flirt was kind of dud, but now it's like everything. It's just you never really know. So my advice is just like keep your stuff, all of it current and going because you never know when someone's going to buy you buy 30 of your clips or going to call you for an hour or you know take you private for two hours you just you just never know yeah. <laughs> so yeah now do you have a and, and, and one thing i'm worried about is well not one thing i notice is that like with music everything just ends up on youtube so it's like a lot of people don't buy i love music i'm a huge music fan so yeah. you know and I support artists, and and I say this with the passion: support porn. You know, if yes. you love the porn star, pay money for it, 
yes. you know, you know, it's a job, and they're you know you're helping them, and they will they will continue to do it. But like even even my books, right? Yeah. I have to worry about bootleggers. So, yeah. what do you do as a as a cam woman? What do you do to like? Do you find some of your clips on YouPorn or um, X Hamster or stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty much. If you if you have it out there, it's gonna get taken. And like at first, I was just like, "What? Why would anybody put me on there?" But um, it's it's one of those things I used to go through every month and like fill out all the forms and get all of it taken down. Uh, Pornhub is awesome; they'll just shut that thing right off and it's it's gone. But I mean, you have to keep looking for it. But like other sites are harder, like to get through their forms are really difficult to find or they have to blah, 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 blah. And they try to like put you through the ringer. But um, actually our porn, our, our sites um, like cam for and my for cams chatterbait, they all, if you contact them, they will do it for you. Oh, so sweet. yeah. So that's kind of nice, but it takes a little bit longer to like get back from like chatterbait and like my for cams, those bigger sites. They have, they have like a million emails every day, so it takes them longer to go through it. But um, it's just nice to not have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, you do have to contact them. Okay. It's yeah. Chatterbait's pretty fascinating. Um, I've done some broadcasting myself, my Dom and I, you know, um, that was fun. Um, but also just like, I made I made friends just yeah. through Chatterbait, you know what I mean? Like yeah. people watch, you know, there are people who like fold laundry, you know. Yeah. They, 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 I've done it. They like okay. cook. You should know. You should. You should do. You put put yourself in a French maid outfit and fold laundry. You'll see how yeah. your numbers. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, it's so funny, and that's what I really, really love about camming is like you don't have to be, you know, blonde and twenty. You can be whoever you are, and that's so beautiful and just amazing. And like people want to see that, and I think that's what separates cam. From everything else is because they're getting the real you the live you and sometimes you're gonna do something embarrassing sometimes you're gonna say something dumb and like and you sometimes you're just gonna fall over or whatever and it's it's all freaking awesome and that's what i love i love that well uh, i got two things to say about that first of all the cool thing about chatterbait it's like you have to be there live or you miss it you know yeah. um, you know, so it's it's like the beauty of, of really good graffiti. You know, it's like you know it's going to get washed off the train, but you you watch it now. You know, yeah. um, one thing I do I I'm very adamant about of uh, very um, is the beauty of amateur porn and um, and camming is the fact that especially if they're couples, you know, if, if, if they're doing kinky stuff, it like it almost gives you hope. Because you know it's not the staged, big stage yeah. production. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it's like it, it almost gives you hope that like, oh my God, I have a fancy similar to that and I like these people are actually living it. Maybe I can too. You know what I mean? So okay. All right. <clears throat> Before we get to the, the end part, we're gonna do this is, this is the second to last part. Rapid fire questions. And trust me, they never go rapid fire. Okay. <laughs> And they don't have to be kink related, okay? Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> what was the last movie you watched? And it could be something you've seen a million times. It could be something brand new. But the last movie you watched that really hit you, either emotionally or you just thoroughly enjoyed, or it it just it just gave you much happiness, or it, it like it crushed you emotionally in a in a good cathartic way. What was the last movie? Uh, Avengers: Infinity Wars. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, recommend a book. Um, Last Summer by J uh, Steve Kluger. What's that about? I don't know about that. Uh, well, it's about it's a uh, written it's graphic style, uh, which you think it's kind of it's gonna be like whatever, just like a dumb book. Uh, basically, about a baseball player who like links up with this kid that's like a fan, and like the um, it's like in the. I'm trying to think like a million years ago it's like um in, la, 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 la. it's been a while since i read it obviously but it's um one of my favorite books um ever i wish i had it with me so i could show oh, you summer last days of summer by steve kluger 
But didn't they make it's, them? It's gonna be about baseball, but it's really oh. about their their friendship and their bonding and like bringing okay. to. All right. Um, do you listen to podcasts by any chance? I don't. I've been wanting to listen to podcasts. And check so. it out. It's great. It's better than radio. Yeah. Um, and you should actually like do. You should be guests on some. There are a lot of kink podcasts and porn podcasts. I would love like to. That, that you yeah. Know. Look that up. So, what was the last song? And it like just like the movie, it could be a song that you listened to a million times. That you know, when it's old, it could be a song that's brand new. But what was the last song that really hit you, you know, emotionally, or made you rock out to it, or dance to it, or just just you know. You know. I love like canoe. What? I don't remember who sings it. it. I it's on Spotify. It's called "I Love My Canoe." It is literally a song about a guy who sees he's out cleaning. He sees his canoe and he's like, "I'm gonna take that out," and it's awesome. And it makes me so happy. Like trouble you're in that mood. Listen to that one. Trouble trouble hubble. Yes, I love my canoe. I love. I'll, I'll check that out. I like I like worky songs like that. Okay. It's so awesome. And my friend John's like, I think I think it's a euphemism. And I'm like, I don't think so. And I looked up the lyrics and I'm like, it is definitely not. It's just the guy loves canoe. He loves his canoe. <laughs> and I wish I loved anything as much as he loved his canoe. Give All it right. a you don't listen to. Oh, oh, one thing I noticed um on your website, on your Twitter feed, um, you know, you, you do dress up in lingerie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I personally have a, a, a lingerie fetish. I love women in lingerie. So I was wondering, do you have like an all-time favorite ensemble or outfit? Ooh, I do. I mean, I, it kind of changes, but um, I definitely like. For me, there's nothing like like wet look, um, latex. And like something really feminine, like lace, like combining like that heavy with like feminine, like stockings or, or like maybe like lace panties, like ugh, tops. And oh, speaking of panties, you um, give panties away for people who buy stuff from you, right? Yes, yes, I love giving away my panties. <laughs> love it. Okay. Great. Okay. All right. So we're winding things down. Um, this is the word association. Now, I encourage you to clear your mind okay. and do not overthink it, okay? So if I say something like, you know, chastity, you could say, if, if, if the word potato comes into your mind, that's okay. fine. Run with it. There's no wrong answer. It's This is going to get silly, okay? <laughs> And for some reason, I don't know why, but it always, it, a lot of food references stuff is creepy. Okay, people are hungry. I, do, I, don't, I don't have this written down. I do this off the top of my head. And because I want you to do it off the top of your head. Okay. All right. Uh, rope. Belt. Sissies. Square. Cosplay. Hot. Knife play. Blood. Vinyl records. Empire records. Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, you know what's funny about the Empire records? I worked for a record store, and we, our um, inventory helped be part of the props for that movie. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. I love that movie. It's a good movie. And it, it really does capture the record store. I mean, it's a little cheesy sometimes, but it's it, it's a good movie. That's what I love about it. It's Rex Manning Day. Come on. Yeah, it's Rex Manning Day. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> right. um, pegging. Hot. There it is again. Okay. All right. Um, choking. Oh, hands. <laughs> All right, organic bean burritos. Tortillas. Okay. Um, <laughs> fire play. Did we say fire play? No, cups. Cups. Cup. Okay. All right. Um, consensual, non-consensual. Rope. Just basically rape play. Mm. Rope. Rope. Trunk. Trunk. Okay. 
What? I just want to be tied up and put in the trunk. Is that is that a problem? No, that's good. Tied up put in the trunk. Okay. Blood play. Um, band aids. Okay. B movies. B movies. Labyrinth. Labyrinth. I think they're making a remake of that actually. No, you can't. Uh, I don't they might, they might not. I don't know. David Bowie's gone, you know. I miss him. <laughs> I know, we all do. I miss him. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, late night television. Jimmy Fallon. Okay, pistachios. Oh, yes, shells. All right, uh, did, we, did we say sploshing? No, yes, sploshing, cupcakes, pancakes. Okay. <laughs> cupcakes, okay. All That's right. yearly for my birthday. We do all cupcakes. Right. Latex. Ooh, yes. Shiny. Okay. The 50s housewife dynamic. Would never work for me. Cookies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The daddy baby girl dynamic. Oh, depending. Yes. Um, oh. Daddy. <laughs> um, color. Okay. Um, the story of O, do you know you're familiar with that? I am not as familiar as I want to be with the story of O. <laughs> well, just skip Fifty Shades of Grey, read the story of O. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's my own life. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was reading a book at our local dungeon. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was. It was like The Beginner's Guide to, it was part of our training at the dungeon, but um, yeah, I didn't get to finish it. Then. Okay. Um, <laughs> water sports, or as they say, piss play. Oh yes. Um, I have not done, but um, tarps. Tarps. Okay. <laughs> um, fin dom or financial domination. Um, the word that comes to my mind is YouTube because the first person that ever told me about this was. Um, a subscriber on my then YouTube channel was like, you should do this. And I'm like, I've never heard of it. And so I Googled it. So my, I guess the first word that comes to my mind is YouTube. YouTube. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. Not a problem. Not a problem. Um, <laughs> reggae music. Ooh. Um, beanies. Good. <laughs> All right. Um, improv comedy. First word that comes to my mind is Bobby. This friend back home had this improv group that we always went and saw until I watched a man put another, um, change another man's diaper. And that was the first time I ever saw that. And I was like, I can't. Bobby, you didn't warn me there was going to be. <laughs> okay. Finally, we'll walk it down. We'll come to the end. Scat. <laughs> I don't know. Is that kind of, some kind of music or something? Yeah, yeah well, it's jazz. They, they do scat. <laughs> <laughs> the music. Okay, music would be the word then. Okay, great. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. it's how right. Genesis, it has been an absolute pleasure. You are beautifully quirky and funny, and, and your attitude is amazing. Please. Plug away, please. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we do the plugs, I do. Uh, I'm, 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 we're going to do a, um, a compilation. So if you could say okay. Terra Genesis, go to yourkinkyfriends.com. Okay. This is Terra Genesis. That's the line. This yeah. is Terra Genesis. Go to yourkinkyfriends.com. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, now plug away. Anything that you want to plug, even if it's not kink related, your website, your your clips. I mean, everything will be on the website, you know, of, okay. you know, so they can always click, but still say it, please. Okay. Um, find me on cam. I'm on cam com slash GG Tara. Um, that was my original name. Good girl, Tara. Good girls. Cause that's me. But, um, yes. And, um, if you, yeah, my website is going to be awesome very soon. Uh, spankleterra.com. And uh, of course, my Twitter, 
twitter.com slash one paragenesis because I'm one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, definitely buy my clips, all of my links, anything you want to find should be on my website. But um, yeah, Twitter is always a great place to find me. So, yeah. Great. Definitely. All right. Uh, Tara, um, please, a after the broadcast, I, I would like to talk to you for about 30 seconds, um, okay. you know, just to, to catch up real quick about something. But sure. this is Nicholas Tanek. Go to yourkinkyfriends.com. Um, there's a chat, a Discord chat group, which is really, really fun. There's a bunch of really cool and kind people. There's different um, rooms in there, and you can get lost. It, it, it ebbs and flows. Sometimes it's dead. Sometimes it's crazy busy. But yeah, definitely sure. go to the chat. Um, catch me on um, Facebook okay. at Nicholas Tanek. Um, you know, uh, Nicholas, T A N E K. Um, yeah, my name's right there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ch check me on um, Instagram at Nick Tanek, N I C K um, T A N E K. Um, I saw him on Instagram. I'm, I'm really rarely on Snapchat. Um, I really just haven't gotten into that. But um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I'm all over it. And then we have a secret Facebook group. And you're in a secret Facebook group. So your aunts or your grandmother who's on Facebook or your mom or your dad will never know you're there. And it's it's a bunch of cool people. All the articles get you know um, put in there. Um, you know, uh, a lot of it, it's funny. It's it, and it's it's a really relaxed, chill space, um, and you can get all the, the content from your kinky friends there too. And no one will know. So you can. So your boss who follows you on Facebook is not going to know that you're a kinkster. <laughs> so, um, Tara, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, I'm so glad we do this. We could we should do this again. I'd like to bring you. I, I was thinking of doing a, a whole episode with a panel of cam women. Like you oh, yeah. and, and you and Amy Mercury and stuff like that, we could just discuss. Like, and we could do do the whole thing through this uh, this way. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we, I got I got some plans in the future for for. Awesome. You know, yes, I like it. Yeah. Um. Thank you so much for your support, and thank you for being so cool. It's getting late, my friends. My dom is calling me. <laughs> oh. well, you better go then. Yeah. <laughs> Stay All right. Well, thank you so much. This was so much fun. It was and great. Really... Stay kinky, my friends.